Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to learn about properties of multiplication. So today we will discuss about five properties of multiplication, and these are commutative property, associative property, zero property, identity property, and distributive property. Now. Before starting the properties of multiplication, first we will discuss about some important terms of multiplication. These are first is multiplicand. So, what is multiplicand? The number to be multiplied is called multiplicand. जिस number को multiply किया जाता है, उसे multiplicand कहते हैं. Second is multiplier. Multiplier means the number by which we multiply is called multiplier. जिस number से हम multiply करते हैं, that number is known as multiplier. And the third important term is product. The result of multiplication is known as product. Whenever we multiply any two number, then our result is known as product. For example, you can see here, here the two numbers are 23 multiplied by 10 and the answer is 230. So here 23 is the number to be multiplied. That's why it will be our multiplicand. And here we are multiplying 23 by 10. 23 ko hum 10 se multiply kar rahe hain. That's why 10 will be our multiplier. And after multiplying these two, we are getting this as our answer. So, our answer of multiplication is known as product. Okay. So, now we will start with the first property that is order property or commutative property. So, according to this property, the product of two numbers does not change when we change the order of the numbers. Okay, this means we can multiply the numbers in any order. Our product will remain the same. For example, here two numbers are 25 and 13. So, here we are multiplying 25 by 13. And here we are multiplying 13 by 25. We have changed the order. So, now we will check that whether we are getting the same answers in both the cases. Okay, so let's check. So, first we will multiply 25 by 13. So, 13, 5 is 65. 5 we will write, 6 we will carry. 13, 2 is 26 and 26 plus 6 is 32. This means by multiplying 25 by 13, we get 325. Now, we will multiply 13 by 25 because we have changed the order. Okay, so let's multiply here only. 13 multiplied by 25. So, 25 multiplied by 3 is 75. We will write 5 here. 7 we will carry. 25 ones are 25. And plus 7, we will get 32. So, this means 325. So, hence we can say that we can multiply the numbers in any order. Our product will always remain the same. Okay. So now we will discuss about second property that is grouping or associative property. So according to this property, the product of three or more numbers does not change when we change the grouping of the numbers. This means whenever we are multiplying three or more numbers, then we can make the group of any two numbers and in all the cases our product will remain same. For example, here you can see here three numbers are 25, 8 and 4. Now here I made the group of 8 and 4 and this side I made the group of first two numbers 25 and 8 first and then I will multiply 4 by the product of these two numbers. So, let us check that whether we are getting the same answer or not. So, here it is 25. We will write 25 as it is. Multiplied by, first we will multiply these two. 8, 4, 32. So, 32. 
and this side it is 25 multiplied by 8. So first we will multiply these two numbers. 25 ko 8 se multiply kiya and we will get 200. And here now we will multiply this by 4. Okay, so let's check. 25 multiplied by 32. What will we get? So I am multiplying here. 25 multiplied by 32. 2, 2 times 5 is 10. 2 to the 4 plus 1 is 5. Then 3 5 is 15. 1 we will carry. 3 to the 6 plus 1 is 7. So now we will add 0, 0 and 8. This means 800. Here our product is 800. And this side also by multiplying these two first. And then multiplying our answer by 4 we are getting 800. So in both the cases our answer is same. So we can say that we can make the group of any two numbers and then we can multiply the product by the remaining number. Or you can see here, here we can make the group of these two numbers also first. So we can multiply 25 by 4. So 25 multiplied by 4 will be 100. And then we can multiply it by 8. So in this case also we are getting 800. So this means this property is getting satisfied. Okay. So now we will discuss about next property that is zero property. So according to this property whenever we will multiply any number by zero our product will be zero only. So the product of a number by zero is always 0. You can see here two examples are written. 143 multiplied by 0 will be equal to 0 and 7542 multiplied by 0 is also equal to 0. So whether the number is very big or small in all the cases whenever we multiply any number by 0 we will always get 0. Okay. So now let's move on to the next property that is identity property. So according to this property whenever we multiply any number by 1 we will always get number itself. As it is written here the product of any number and 1 is always number itself. Means jab hum kisi bhi number ko 1 se multiply karte hai to humara answer kya aata hai? The number itself. For example, 456 multiplied by 1, it will be equal to 456. Similarly, in the second example, it is given 98,542. And when we multiply this by 1, in this case also, we will get number itself. That is 98,542. So again, Whenever our number is very big, if we will multiply 1 lakh or 1 crore by 1, then in that case also we will get number itself. Okay? So now let's discuss about the fifth and the most important property of multiplication that is distributive property. So according to this property, the product of a number by the sum of two numbers is the same. As the sum of the products of that number by the two numbers separately. So we will understand this property through this example. So here the three numbers are given 15, 10 and 8. So here as per the property the product of a number by the sum of two numbers. Means by the sum of two numbers 10 plus 8. If we multiply 15 by 8. 18. 10 plus 8 is 18. So it will be same as the sum of the product of that number. This is the sum of the product of that number. Means 15 by the two numbers separately. Means if we multiply 15 by 10 first and then when we multiply 15 by 8 and then after adding these two we will get the same answer as we get here. Okay, so let's solve it. So it is 15, write 15 as it is. Multiply, put the sign of multiplication. Add 10 plus 8, it is 18. So 15 and 18, we will multiply this. 
18 fives are 90. 0 we will write. 9 we will carry. And 18 1 ja 18. 18 plus 9 is 27. Means we will get 270. Okay. So this is right hand side. And this is left hand side of the equation. So now we will solve the right hand side. First we will multiply 15 by 10. Because according to this property we, we will multiply the number separately by both the numbers. Okay. So 15 multiplied by 10 is 150. Put the sign of addition. Then 15 multiplied by 8. And 15 8 is 120. Now we will add these two. 150 plus 120 it is equal to 270. So we can see that our left hand side is equal to right hand side. So hence prove that our product of the number by the sum of two numbers is same as the product of that number by two numbers separately. Okay, so this is known as distributive property. So friends, I hope that now the concept of properties of multiplication will be clear to you. So if you understood all the properties of multiplication and if you like this video, then please share it among your friends and family and subscribe to my channel for more videos and also press the bell icon for getting the notifications of my latest videos. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye, take care. Thanks for watching.